Ebola is scary, but a UNM grad came back to New Mexico to reassure us all that while the disease is a threat, people in our state should not panic. Ebola is on everyone's mind around the world. 4,000 people have died from the virus, including one person here in the U.S. Some of the nation's busiest airports are taking no chances, stepping up screening and security measures. As long as that outbreak is going on, there's a risk to people in the United States and everywhere else in the world. How big a risk? Dr. Toby Merlin is a University of New Mexico alumnus. He's now the director of the Division of Preparedness and Emerging Infections at the Centers for Disease Control. He says, yes, New Mexicans should be vigilant about Ebola, but not necessarily afraid. I don't think people should be overly concerned uh, about a disease like Ebola. Many uh, greater hazards to people's health on a day-to-day -day basis. But what about the American doctors currently in Africa helping deal with the outbreak, including at least one from New Mexico? Could they come back to the U.S. not knowing they've been infected, only to come down with Ebola symptoms later? But yes, it, it could happen. And I would expect physicians uh, to seek medical care as soon as possible. Ultimately, Dr. Merlin stressed that New Mexico is far from Ebola's reach, but warns that may not be true forever if the outbreak in Africa keeps getting worse. Dr. Merlin says a key thing to remember, it can take up to 21 days for an infected person to start showing symptoms of Ebola. That's why someone could be healthy when they leave Africa and not get sick until they're back in the States. Royal. Okay, thanks, Matt. Dr. Merlin says if you have any questions about Ebola, the best thing you can do is call 1-800-CDC-INFO.